Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Hey, today I'm going to talk about a subject that I think is very important to talk about uh, because you hear some things all the time and I think it kind of bums people out a little bit and I want you to know that that's not my opinion and I don't think it's, uh, it's true. And that's concerning people who will tell other people that they're doing Cambodia wrong. <laughs> Uh, but before we get started, uh, next month is Chum Ben. It's the biggest cultural holiday here in Cambodia. And uh, if you want to help us celebrate, it's coming out. Uh, Chum Ben this month is the first week in October. Uh, you can help support the channel by donating through PayPal and Kofi.com. Both those links are down below. That will help us out tremendously. We thank you always for your support. If you're already in Cambodia and you want to uh, help support the channel, you can do so, so through Wing. And I left instructions in the description on how to do that. If you've never used it, it's very easy. Don't, don't stress about it. And also, I have books for sale. And if you want to purchase any of my books, including my debut horror novel, Pray for Salvation, there's a link down below where you can check all those out as well. And we thank you very much. So the, the reason I wanted to talk about this and why it's so important is because of uh, uh, different comments, not, not only on my channel, but I see them on other people's channels all the time. Uh, Cambodia has always been a place that uh, allows people to live any kind of lifestyle they're comfortable with and that they can afford. Whether it's the extravagant or the meager, uh, you can certainly find it here. But sometimes people take it a little too far and they want to uh, uh, harass and make fun of people who live a certain way because it's not their particular lifestyle of choice. Or perhaps they have uh, more or less money than some people. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, I think that's a bunch of BS. I, uh, there is no wrong way to do Cambodia, whether you're here as a tourist or as a long-term expat. There is no wrong way uh, for you to live here, as long as you're doing everything legally. You're not committing any crimes or anything, of course. Uh, but I mean, as far as your choices, there's no wrong way uh, to do Cambodia. Uh, and I'll use myself as an example and give you some other examples here. Uh, I recently had a comment on one of my videos and this person basically said because of where I was walking while I was recording, they were like, well, you're, that video is not going to get very many people to want to come to Cambodia. They didn't find it to be attractive or beautiful enough where I was walking that day. And to that, I just say, uh, so what? I think there's a misunderstanding uh, when I make these videos, like the one you're watching right now, uh, we are on our way somewhere. Like, that's the way I'm going to walk. That's where I'm going to go. I try to show you my point of view from the way I live and based on my experiences. I do this because I like to make these videos. Uh, but some people uh, seem to think there's some kind of ulterior motive involved and there's not like I would be walking this way even if I didn't have my camera on and just like with all my videos I don't go out of my way to show you the more beautiful places of Cambodia or the uh, most poor uh, spaces here in Siem Reap I walk where I walk because that's the way I'm walking and I'm on my way to do something <laughs> and I'm making a video as I'm doing it it wouldn't matter if I didn't record that would be it but it's all part of Cambodia and I don't have to try to make it more uh, spruced up and I don't have to try to make it seem more uh, uh, you know uh, torn down or worn down in certain places it is what it is uh, 
<clears throat> and like I said, I do that because I like making these videos. I like giving out information. I like telling people about my experiences. And hopefully it helps some people when it comes to their decision. But the fact is, uh, I have no horse in this race, as they say. Like, I, I'm not losing anything if nobody decides to come to Cambodia. And I'm not gaining anything if you decide to come to Cambodia. Uh, I don't have any interest as far as gains or losses either way. Like, uh, I swear there are some people who think if you go to the airport and you go to get your visa and, all, and you say, hey, Dave does Cambodia sent me here, that Cambodia is cutting me a check or something. <laughs> that's, just, that's just silly and ridiculous. That's not how, that's not how any of this works. No, it, it doesn't. I'm not losing anything if you don't come here. I'm not gaining anything if you do. Except maybe for a friend if you want to meet up. I'm always up for that. But, but uh, yeah, I just walk where I normally walk. This is my life. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, but there are other people I know here who, who uh, they, they love to eat at, uh, like, Burger King and Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, those two restaurants, uh, Domino's Pizza, they're here in Siem Reap. And, uh, you know, other people give them crap for it. Like, oh, my God, you went all the way to Cambodia to eat at Burger King. What kind of person does that? And blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it, that doesn't matter. <laughs> A person likes Burger King. These people love KFC. They love Domino's Pizza. If that's where they want to eat and it makes them happy, it's nobody else's concern. There's no need to put down anybody because they, where they choose to eat or, <clears throat> or anything like that. But, but, you, but you see those kind of comments all the time and it always makes me scratch my head. Like, uh, what does it matter to you where somebody's stuffing their face? Uh, it's not going to affect you in any way, so why do you care? And, that, you know, that, that kind of thing. But I think sometimes the confusion sets in when uh, uh, people on vacation and tourists, people on holiday, uh, it's their first time here. And I love watching those videos. I absolutely love it because you'll see the videos, they'll, they'll have titles like, you know, our first time in Cambodia, here's our impressions. And I always love to see other people's first time experiences and hear what they think. And I watch a lot of videos like that uh, when I see them on my YouTube feed. But let's be honest here, the people who are, who are only going to be here for a couple of weeks on their vacation, uh, they have earned this. Like, they have worked in their home country at a job they might hate, <laughs> uh, laboring away, waiting for that two weeks a year when they can escape and not have to worry about work and relax, recharge their batteries with them and their family, perhaps. And they are scrimping and saving the money so they can have an awesome, awesome two weeks vacation and they choose Cambodia. And chances are, when you watch videos like this, you're going to see them in, like, you know, for all the money they save, they're in very expensive hotels, you know, $100 a night, five-star resort hotels here. They're going to be eating at these nice, fancy, very expensive restaurants all the time. Uh, they're just going to go all out of the best of everything for these two weeks. And I see some people hating on them in comments and again why they have earned that or they have earned it uh they've worked they've saved they've scrimped they're finally coming here and so what if they want to spend all that money well it, it doesn't matter that's great for tourism that's great for the kingdom uh it's great for them and it does show a more expensive side of cambodia instead of just the uh poverty and, uh, you know, you got to realize people that are only here for a couple of weeks on a vacation like that, they're probably going to spend more money in that two weeks than I will spend here in like three months or more. And I'm not even joking. <laughs> the, and that's fine. Uh, that doesn't bother me. That doesn't affect me. I think it's great. And I am all for that. Because generally their impressions are very, very good. But for, and sometimes people might watch that who have never been here and think, oh, that's what Cambodia is, this five-star resort, it's this nice swimming pool, it's these fancy restaurants, and that's part of it. It's still the real Cambodia. People always go on about, well, the real Cambodia is always poor and they're small villages, and it's all the real Cambodia because it's in freaking Cambodia, all right? 
the five-star resorts and the small villages. It's all part of the country. <coughs> and uh, people want to come here and uh, spend their hard-earned, deserved money that way. I am more than happy for them as long as they are happy with their decisions. So yeah, they are not doing Cambodia wrong. But when people see that sometimes for the first time that haven't been here and think that's all there is, they might be a little shocked. That's why I don't mind videos where I'm just walking around in areas that might not be so attractive. And I generally eat at restaurants that don't even have a presence on Google Maps. Uh, just these little hole-in-the-wall mom-and-pop places. Sometimes they just set out tables in front of their apartment and cook something uh, off a couple of, uh, you know, countertop burners. Yeah, whatever. But again, that's nothing to be uh, uh, upset about or complain about because it's delicious, it's inexpensive, I get full, I'm happy. <laughs> And as I always said before people come here for the first time, I think it's important you get as much information as you can. That's why I have all those other channels below in the description as well uh, from other people that are here, that are vlogging, that are uh, showing you things that I might not see and might not, I might not do. So you can get an overall picture of uh, what somebody's experience is like in Cambodia, <laughs> if that makes sense. I think it does. So yeah, I don't think it's, uh, uh, I don't care how much money you spend here every month, even if you live here. But generally, if you live here, it's not going to be at a five-star resort. <laughs> You're not going to spend $3,000 a month uh, or anything extravagant like that. You know, you going to be like everybody else you're going to have a budget and you're going to live your life and, it's, and you know you can splurge once in a while but it's not going to be anything like you might see in a tourist video or somebody on holiday or vacation or anything like that but the bottom line is that there is no wrong way to do Cambodia spend as much or as little as you can afford and as long as you're happy with that decision, you're fine. And if you're not, you can always go back to your own country. Try it again, maybe. Or try a different country. Uh, whatever you want to do. Again, it's all up to you. And that's a great thing about Cambodia is that you can, like I said, you can live the lifestyle you want and what you can afford. And you can find a $50 apartment, uh, uh, some $50 apartments right down the street just a few steps away from a big condo where people are paying 800 to maybe a thousand dollars a month and they're buying it buying the condo so it's uh it's completely up to you but whatever you do just make sure you're happy doing it you don't have to do it to please anybody else uh you you know if you get bothered by some people saying stuff like that uh just don't put it on social media then because there's always going to be those people, you know. But uh, just do what makes you happy. And uh, as long as you're doing that, I think you will be just fine. And don't worry about whether it's right or wrong to live a certain way because it's all right <laughs> as long as it's legal and you're, do and you're here doing it. Let's put it that way. All right, so uh, be sure to check out all my links down below. Like I said, I have a PayPal and Kofi.com. Uh, there are instructions for how to send money through Wing if you're already in Cambodia. Uh, all the other channels I talked about earlier, they are listed down below. My other channel, Horror Reads, uh, where I talk about my favorite horror books I've read uh, recently. I put out a video once or twice a week there, so check that out as well. And from Sam Reap Cambodia, I will talk to you guys in the next one.